Listen, there's no way Yuji Itadori has more game than me! Yuji Itadori, him. He literally eats Sukuna's fucking moldy ass, rotten fingers like a full course meal! Uh-huh, and why did you tell me to meet here? You said it was urgent. It is urgent, Megumi. Yuji might get a girlfriend before I even find a boyfriend for myself. Do you not see a problem here? Weren't you the one who got them together in the first place? Back in the restaurant, remember? You even called me to check if Ichidori was single or not in front of Ozawa. Damn it! You don't understand, do you? I really don't. Let me explain what happened earlier. Uh... Oh, right, Ozawa. I think I forgot to ask. How did you manage to grow, uh... How much did you grow? You don't ask a girl about her height, Itadori. Why were you with them again? She wanted me to be her emotional support. Now listen. She then said... Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I grew around 50 centimeters in six months after I moved to Tokyo. I'm surprised how you still recognize me. Especially after my weight loss. Well, she still have that same smile. I remember it everywhere. Uh, oh, thank you. Yuji, that makes me really happy. Oh. Where are you going with this? They seem to be getting along. I'm getting there. So, tell me about yourself. How's the Tokyo life treating you? Then they went blah blah blah. Itadori kept yapping about their middle school life and shit. He even traded his number with Ozawa and told her to hit him up any time. What the hell does yapping even mean? Doesn't matter. The point is, Yuji's getting a girlfriend, and I'm still single! Oh, Ozawa, your eyes are really beautiful, and you're definitely not boring like Kukisaki over there. That explains why no boys like her. They said that. Them? That's what I'm telling you! <sighs> Are you jealous, Nobura Kukasaki? What? No? Why the hell would I be jealous of him? I never said it was Ichidori. I'm not jealous. I simply can't understand how I became the fucking third wheel! One, language. Two, we are in public. Can you please stop shouting? Three, what were you even expecting? You literally set yourself up for that. It's just Yuji- Yuji this, Yuji that. Have you tried looking for a boyfriend? Of course I did. But nobody fits my damn criteria. And what exactly is this criteria? A guy who's not a UBSSD. A what? Useless, broke, smelly, stingy, dead. And he must be at least six feet tall and handsome. Uh-huh. Muscular, confident, independent. I can't stand guys who are fucking cowards. Hold on. Aren't you just describing Maki? What? You literally just described Maki's entire personality. What? No, of course not. There's plenty of guys who are like that. Besides, Maki's a woman. I'm a woman. It's impossible for us to date. It's called being lesbian. I'm not a lesbian, Megumi! Just because we hold hands sometimes and sleep on each other's laps doesn't mean I'm gay for her. Holding hands? Sleeping on her lap? She likes to warm my hands during winter, okay? And sleeping on another girl's lap doesn't make you gay. That's true, but your face suggests otherwise. I'm just frustrated! Get off my dick! Uh-huh. Plus, our goodnight texts are purely platonic. Maki sends you goodnight messages. You're telling me, the Maki Zenin. Yeah, look. Maki doesn't send you goodnight texts? She doesn't text anybody at all. There you are, Fushiguro. You missed today's training at four. Oh shit, Maki! I mean, wait, no! <laughs> you okay? Hey, Maki. We were just talking about you earlier. Megumi, what the 